Southern Socks podcast where I let's knit. Today is Sunday, the 30th, 30th, is it? 30th of September, of September, of December. Christmas has never been in my house because I've just taken my tree down. I've got a bit of a glow. I'd had enough of it. I'd had bloody enough of Christmas this week. <laughs> I'm sick of eating, I'm sick of drinking. <laughs> Well, until at least eight o'clock tonight. So, have you all had a lovely Christmas? Mine's been a bit different this year. I just can't put my finger on it, but it has. But nonetheless, it's been lovely. So, my name's Julie, and I run Suffolk Socks, which is an online yarn shop selling um, yarn that's sourced for knitting socks, but um, and accessories. And um, I am the dyer behind the Yarn Tart Yarn Label which I have just taken, I've just received a big, well, uh, an, a nice order of um, undyed sock yarn. So I'm, I'm going to be dyeing up some in the new year. I've got some good colourways lined up. So um, the plan is today, I'm going to, on this, in, you know, I don't usually have a plan. I don't know why I'm saying that. But, you know, FOs, which I have got one, but I've left it downstairs. So, um there you go. You'll have to believe me on that one. And um, I've got a few works in progress that are near completion. And I thought I'd discuss my word of the year and my make nine, which um, I'm following the same plans as last year. So anyway, FOs, I don't have any. And what I did have were gifted. And I just, knit, well, actually what I did was I did the box of socks cow. And um, I gave... My two daughters, Lou and Fee, Lu Lucy and Phoebe, a pair of socks each. And um, they were the only socks I gifted this year. And um, I took my box of socks and I've put them all in my drawer for me. And I'm going to wear them because it's, I, I realised, I've decided that, um, you know, any surplus socks I'm going to keep for me. Well, actually, I'm going through a bit of a selfish phase today. Anyway, let's get on to whips. And then we'll get into the waffle. I've got a bit of waffle. Because there's another video that's going to be attached to this one. Which I'll explain later. Um, right. These are my works in progress. This has been on the needles for ages. Um, and I've just been busy doing other things. I've been really into... Um, on reflection of 2018. I can genuinely say that... Um, it's been all about the jumpers. Yes, I do the salt. I love, I love knitting socks. And, um, but there's so many designs out there and I love all the designs, but I find that, um, I love a good vanilla sock. I love it. I can wrap, well not, I can just rattle through it. I can, um, just lose myself in the methodical knit over throughout and just get on with it. So anyway, these are all vanilla socks. And this is my, um, just plain vanilla sock with my um, Latvian twist cast on and um, twist and straighten with vanilla sock with the garter stitch tab heel and into a, let me move that cursor off there because it's on my nerves. And into a, well actually no, I haven't even done the start toe on this one. I've done the back toe. And um, kitchen at the end. I don't know why I did that. I think I did it because I didn't have stitch markers and I couldn't be bothered with the brain power. I had an awful week the week before Christmas. And this is um, kept in my Sockmas bag. So they're in there and I don't know what else is in there. I did have a day yesterday. Do you know where you, um, I don't know, some people, they go through their bags and sort their whips out in the spare wool. Well, this week I've had to go through my project bags and get rid of all the celebration wrappers, the heroes wrappers. Um, there's been a fair few after eight mint wrappers. <laughs> I mean, God, no wonder I've put white on. Thank God there wasn't any empty bottles of white. <laughs> so yeah, so these are in my uh, this my sockmas bags, which um, I stocked are the yarn tart bags. Just cheap and cheerful, six pound. Um, drawstring calico bags. Love them. My other whip. Oh, I'm loving this. I've got a tale to tell about this one as well. This is my tree yorks jumper that you've seen a bit of, and I'm on to the last sleeve. 
So I've done one sleeve. Let's have a look. Done one sleeve. And I'm on to the last sleeve. Now this is killing me, this. I don't mind knitting sleeves, but I got some wool for Christmas and I'm desperate to cast that on. But um, I'm all right casting loads of socks on, but I won't cast loads of jumpers on. So that's that. I've got, um, and that's living in my fringe bag. So that's my... Um, I haven't got that many whips actually. I'm doing really well. And um, this is knit using the Jamesons and let me now let me just check because I always get them mixed up. It is the Jamesons and Smith, Jamesons and Jamesons of Shetland Spindrift. I got this when I was in Shetland Isles. And I've loved knitting this. I absolutely love it. And this is in my fringe bag. So my other one, this is ongoing, this, this is this is going to be part of the appeal as well that I'm going to talk about. This is a Land of Sweets cowl um, that I just pick up and put down as and when. It's lovely this. I knit one um, for my sister for her birthday and she absolutely loves it. Um, and she says it's so lightweight for when she goes for a walk. She wears it after she's done her Pilates because she's a big Pilates person, my sister. I take my hat off to her. I can even bend down to sit in a chair some days where she can bend herself double, I think. As can her husband. He does yoga, and I'm sorry, I've got to have a laugh about this, but she calls him Yuri Geller. <laughs> My sister's got a dead dry sense of humor. Sorry, I don't even know. I'll have to cut that out. <laughs> anyway, so that's that, and that's living in my fringe bag. I have a good supply of fringe bags in my house. And my final cast on was my Christmas Eve cast on. Um, yeah, I was at, I was like, I was well organised this year. And Christmas Eve afternoon, because um, Phoebe's the only one that, well, she came back to visit. Um, so Faye, I, Faye, me, myself and Jonathan were sitting and we had a film on on Christmas Eve afternoon. So I thought I might as well start the Christmas Eve cast on. And I knit, the week before Christmas, I'd taken a, delivery of the Claude Money range from um Opal and um I couldn't I couldn't wait to cast this on and this I've knit them in parallel two together I actually think this works wonders for me I never have second sock syndrome and um yeah so I'm knitting me 60 stitch cast on just a plain vanilla. I've done a fish lips kiss heel because I can do that without thinking and just there's no stopping and starting for me. Um, high, higher steels, needles and the colour way that I'm knitting in is 9686. And I've got to say, it was such a hard choice to choose the wool from that range because they are all absolutely beautiful. And that's living in my little bag this was one of the first project bags i made um and i've just i've had a few people get back in touch with me asking me if i'm going to start making some more tweed um project bags so I, do you know what i think i might when i get my head around everything in the new year get myself sorted out i need a good kick up the arse do you know that arse can you say that on instagram on um, well whatever i need a good good kick up the bum so um so I've knit them, cast on, I'm absolutely whizzing through them, absolutely love it. My little bag. So it's, um, well, handmade by Julie, my project bags. And that's all the whips I've got on the go. So let me tell you about my Jameson's problem. Now, I can knit with, a few years ago, I bought some Shetland, some of the Jameson's from the wool brokers. Um, beautiful, beautiful. Um, and I came up in such an allergic reaction that I put it down to something else I was using and um, I thought well, I'll just leave it and then um, I've knit a few things in the spin drift because the twist my local wool shop where it used to be before she closed um, used to be a big stockist of the spin drift so I always used to get it from there anyway when I last week or the week, last week um, I was sorting through all my wool and I found my um, one of my Kate Davis jump as I was knitting um, using that wool 
and um, I'd knit half the back and I'd knit a sleeve and I thought, do you know what, I'm going to do that. And then when I was doing it again, I realised that I was coming up all hives and um, like me hands were, oh, just a nightmare. And I realised there must be something on that wall that I can't, and I'm not, I'm not like bad mouthing it or anything because it's absolutely beautiful. And I bought like a lord when I was in the Shetlands. Um, I bought a corn and I bought two jumpers worth and stuff like that. By the end of the night, and I have psoriasis, so I'm really hot on skincare. Um, I was like, just my face, I could have clawed it off. So um, it's beautiful wool. So needless to say, on Christmas Eve, when my daughter was here, who's a big knit, our Lucy, she went home with three jumpers worth of Shetland wool. And she was like just about skipping down the stairs <laughs> with it. And I was so I was like, oh, I was so disappointed. But um but the funny enough, I'm knitting a jumper. Let's see if I can see. I'm knitting, I'll just excuse me. I'm knitting a jumper for Jonathan using the heritage range that I have. And that's absolutely fine. Um it's absolutely beautiful. This so I think I'm gonna have to replace the jumper as I was knitting. That's what I'm knitting here. The jumpers I was knitting with the Jamesons, two ply. I think I might just replace the wool with the heritage range. Um, but yeah, I was so disappointed. But on the plus side, I can see it. it's half to my stash. <laughs> We're just like, yay! So I like. I thought I was. I was disappointed, but when I saw the lack of wool on my shelves. I was like, this is great. And the other thing I did was I emptied all my one skeins off the shelf and I've put them in that cupboard, well, in a box at the top of that cupboard. And that's hard to get through. And um, out of sight, out of mind, that's my theory. I haven't got a massive stash, actually. Not compared to some people, but it's big for me. It's big enough for me. There you go. So my Christmas purchase. What we did this year for Christmas, John and I, we decided, because John's a big, John, well, I'm sitting staring at about five guitars on the wall across there. He's a big guitar player, a music person. We decided that um, because anything we might like for Christmas, um, we just give each other the link to. So we decided we would just buy our own Christmas presents and then would give them to the other person to wrap up. So I had to wrap all his presents up and what have you. Because, you know, he got a foot pedal and stuff. And I wouldn't have a clue what to get, you know, without him telling us. I mean, go to the shop to buy it. So he got it and what have you. And um, one half was good. The other half was like, oh, I know what I'm getting. And I missed not getting me Chanel perfume. John always buys me Chanel perfume for Christmas. I missed not getting that. But anyway, what I did buy was... Do, 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 do. The new fringe bag. Oh my god, I love it. I had to get it from a shop in Ireland. Um, well, I didn't have to, but I did. Um, because Yak in Brighton had run out, and um, I was going to buy the coffee one from um Fringe themselves, but I kept getting the time difference wrong. <laughs> it's not hard for me to do that. So now, so I decided just go with the black one, and I'm pleased I did actually. And my daughter, Lou, bought me that pin. Oh, can you see? Yeah. So in this bag is the wool to knit. A Tecumseh. Is that how you say it, Tecumseh? Now, I wasn't sure on this jump at all. I did have it in me. I, 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 I thought myself, oh, I didn't like it in the cream and what have you. But when I was um, vending at Yarn Porium, in London a few weeks ago a lady came up and she had it on in dark green with I think it was blue crosses and um orange flag I call them flags whatever and you know it was beautiful absolutely beautiful it just made it look so completely different um and I hummed and hard and I hummed and hard and then I saw hers and I thought you know what I'm just gonna get that pattern and think about the colours so I went well, actually, I bought that pattern whilst I was vending. <laughs> I thought, I'm just going to get it. But um, last week, or the week before Christmas, I was watching the Hey Sisters podcast. And one of the sisters happened to have the Tecumseh on. And she had it on in, I think hers was black. 
No, I couldn't knit black, um, but I decided to go for a blue. And I'm knitting it using the round my wool, the three, it's like double knit. And I've decided I'm going to have the cream crosses and I'm going to have the pink flags. And um, so I ordered this from these older teaks shop, which um, I knit my Birkin and I knit my Winterfell jumper in the round my wool. So I'm a big fan of that wool. Um, Great service, absolutely brilliant service. Um, I think I ordered it on the Wednesday and it was here on the Friday, um, just in time for Christmas. Well, I can't remember because it's all rolled into one for me that week. And um, so yes, so that's gonna be my next cast on, but I have to get at least halfway down that heel um, before I can start a new jumper. The other thing I've got for Chris, I've got to show you my slippers. Oh, and pom pom stinking adorable. <laughs> Lucy bought some for Christmas. Oh, I absolutely love them. I thought I'm going to have to take them up to show, show people. So anyway, let's get into waffle. What have we done? Well, right. I'm going to talk about my appeal. And um, the week before Christmas. Yeah, the week before Christmas, my um, lovely friend passed away. And um, on diagnosis, my friend, I gift, I knit her a shawl and I called it my shrug with a hug for her. And um, I knit it as a two skin shawl. It was, it was, I knit her the Mabel design, my Mabel that I designed using the fibre company on. And she wore it all the time, you know, absolutely loved it. She was tiny, my friend. So the two skeins virtually <laughs> enveloped her. And, um, yeah, so as I say, she passed away the week before Christmas and what have you. And I wanted to, she was part of our knit group. She's a big knitter, so. And I want next year, and I've thought about this for a while. And so next year, what I'm going to do is I'm going to knit one ski and shawls for, to donate, to donate to Elizabeth Hospice because um, Sue spoke with great admiration for Elizabeth, the Elizabeth Hospice in Ipswich. The care, the friendship she made, the treatments, just all round she spoke with great admiration. And um, I thought that I would knit some one skin shawls to donate to the hospice for, to, um, gift patients that are in there during the month the probably about two weeks before christmas um i would do it for now one thing i cannot emphasize enough and i'm quite passionate about this this is not a fundraising appeal i will that I will not be selling wool, I will not be promoting wool, I will not be promoting patterns, I will not be giving a percentage of wool or anything to the hospice. The gift is, the idea of this appeal is a gift, a shawl from the heart and a shrug with a hug to gift to somebody who, who might need just a shrug with a hug from a stranger I'm only to shrug from a hug a hug with a shrug whatever you know and um so there'll be no special colorway there will be no special wool there'll be no yarn dyed for it um I'm if anybody wants to do it I would love it if they could just knit it with wool out of their stash you know like do a um a scrappy shawl because scrappy shawls the word scrappy sounds really bad but not bad but um you can get some beautiful scrappy cowls and scrappy shawls um with leftovers from the beautiful socks people knit and the patterns just you know to um knit a pattern that is in your library or you know go in a ravelry and find a um a, a free one you know but if anybody i am not going to promote any 
shawl patterns or wool or dyes or anything for this um, appeal. I feel quite passionate about that. I just want it to be a gift, for, a, a gift with n no other than a gift from the heart, if that makes sense. I can't really put it into words very well, um, but I know Sue would have loved that. And Sue happened to be one of the most, was one of the most non-materialistic people I know. Um, but she loved her knitting and she loved her shawl and she loved knitting socks. Um, when I taught her knit socks, my phone was like a hotline with her. <laughs> I loved it. I loved it. Anyway, so that's my appeal. I'm going to put it on the end here. Um, I haven't really watched the bit that I did. I made the appeal last week or the week before because I can't watch it without crying. So um, watch that and you'll hear all about it. If I rambled on about that. Anyway, so plans for next year. Well, plans for the rest of the year, really. I haven't got any. I haven't got any. The biggest plan for the end of this year was to take that Christmas tree down. I was sick to death of it. And now our poor Matilda, oh, every time she came, she... I'm soft. I didn't mind her touching my ornaments because I've got... I have this theory that if she touches the ornaments, she'll learn to play with them nicely. Whereas some family members were saying, don't touch that and what have you. Um, so she had her own Christmas tree with all the little ornaments on with um, robins and stuff. Now my husband's... Do what do you want? I thought you were reading from the bedroom. No, sorry. I'm, I share a room with my husband all his music stuff's here. Good, you can't come in and play. Anyway, so right, so my plan is to sort the house out, which I'm halfway doing. And I've been thinking about my word for 2019. And I've decided it's going to be a rude word. And it begins with F and it ends with it. <laughs> so that's two words. Obviously, I won't publicly declare that and I won't say it out loud to anybody else. I'll just say it under my breath. But I just think, oh, you know, I'll imagine. Can you remember that? Um, the vicar. the vic That programme with the vicar. Oh, God, what do you call it? He was Irish. And he, the maid that used to clean the vicarage always used to say, oh, feck it. <laughs> that's going to be me. Anyway, on that note, I'd love to wish you a happy new year and thank everybody for all the support and friendship they've given Suffolk Socks, which is me, over the last year. And um, yes, take care, happy knitting, and I'll speak to you in the new year. Bye.